What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're switching over to DC. It's DC Classic Superman. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's check it out. Now tuning into the encounter culture. <laughs> As promised today, we're taking a look at Classic Superman. Let's see what we've got going on. Looking at the package, of course, we're under the DC Multiverse Superman, ages 12 and up, 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys. Looks pretty decent in there. We've got the extra hands. We've got that great flight stand. So always pumped when that's included because that kind of makes it worth it. Almost regardless, right? Almost. All right. DC Multiverse Superman. There's some information there. There is a QR code if you need it. Flip it to the back. There is a cool looking image. Doesn't look anything like the figure in the box, but that tends to be par for the course. DC Classics. Love that. Some more important information down at the bottom there and there. Flip it to this side. DC Multiverse, Superman, DC Classic, McFarlane Toys. Let's get them out of the box. First up, there's your card. And here's your stand. Fresh out of the box. All right, Superman, some things I like, some things I don't like. I'm sure that's the same with a lot of you out there. Uh, what I do like about this, I really love the powder blue color. I, that, to me, is a very certain era of Superman and, and just a really nice contrast to the red. What I don't like, we're basically uh, almost completely, if not completely, well, almost completely because the head's different, but almost completely using the Page Puncher Superman. So while this is a DC classic Superman, you're getting some more modern touches such as that belt with the s on it as opposed to maybe use using parts from like the action comics 1000 version even um to give you some more of those classic elements right uh, obviously they could have just done a brand new superman to give it that much more accuracy but here we are we know that's not happening um but i do like it i do like the s on this one so I like the, the chest use, the torso use on this. Maybe just changing out the, the diaper piece would have been a good call for that minor change and uh, the boots as well. But that, that to me is fairly minor. Let's take a closer look, see what we've got going on. All right, so we do get this face sculpt. Uh, the smile to me is a little on the goofy looking side. I don't know. I, I I get maybe they're going for that more wholesome classic Superman vibe and I'm here for it. It just could have been executed better. I like the heads, uh, the hair though. The sculpting here is excellent. Certainly a nice job. This isn't terrible by any means. I just, it does come off a little bit goofy. Hands still huge as ever. Like just maybe get some new hands in the mix. Uh, and just retire these giant hands. I mean, look how big that is. It's, it's large. Would have loved to finally get a painted S on the cape. I'm no expert, but I imagine it can't be that hard to, you know, get a, a S on the back there. Again, that would have liked to see a more classic belt buckle as opposed to the logoed belt buckle. And, uh more of the the single line here but again I, i'm not super picky on this part to me that's a take it or leave it sort of thing as far as articulation goes it is the same as the page puncher superman so if you have that you are fully aware not as loose as some but still kind of loose up there overall it does feel like a better figure um with you know the aside from the few things that i've pointed out you do get that full range of motion up there. You'll still get the hole up in the shoulder there. You do have the cut at the upper bicep, double jointed at the elbow, giant hands, which I guess hide that ball a little bit better. The hands just stick out so much to me now. It's like, <sighs> all right. 
excellent sculpting on the S. I do really, really like that. I think that looks super nice. Head, he'll look down about that far. He will look up there. So not getting a ton going down. You're getting some decent motion. So like if you're trying to go into that flying pose, you're still very limited there. So I'd like to see that updated at some point. It will rock side to side pretty good I, I mean that that gets good motion there and of course all the way around upper abdomen you do get that going there in the diaphragm area and then in the lower abdomen towards the waist you of course have your dumbbell down there to give you all of that nothing at the upper thigh why would there be kicks out to about there nice it'll kick back to about there double jointed at the knee nothing in the calf ball at the ankle gives you all of that pivot for days and then your toe articulation for sure all right so there you go there is your articulation let's check out some of the extra hands there are your open hands again still pretty large you can cover his entire face with that open hand and then your flared hands your clapping hands I'm not sure what to do with my hands uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side yeah. for your size comparison I did grab the Superman that came with the atomic skull so a reprint of the Action Comics 1000 version there's your page punchers version in the back there I still haven't opened this one so that's why I'm not doing that as the size comparison but you can see a lot of the same elements. You get the same body, everything there. Color and head are different, of course, but effectively the same Superman. What I was saying, I, I would like to see this classic version with more of a belt style like that. What I like about this one, though, is the more pale blue. I, I really do like that. So about the same height. So he'll fit in with any of your Superman from McFarlane, DC Multiverse toys. It'll look good in the display. I will say that. So I, I, as much as I would like an extra head, I do think this gives you that more, quote, wholesome looking Superman, right? So it'll be some contrast to some of the other versions. Uh, I'll talk about that more here. Let's get into some other comparisons, though. And here he is backed up against your Return of Superman version. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen this Superman on this body. To me, that matches what I think of in my head canon for that Superman, right? Um, I, there's arguments to be made, but for me, I do think that this body would have been the right call. You can see there are similar lighter blue colors too, this one being slightly more pale than that one, but gives you an idea. This is more of a slender looking Superman. Like, let's take a look at this right so when i look at this right that version of superman i see it more so on this buck as opposed to the uh hush or i mean the, the dark knight superman right so let me know what you think about that down in the comments below but that's just my uh my take on that all right folks well there you have it there is your dc classic superman from mcfarland toys dc multiverse Okay figure, I, I don't love everything about it, but I do like it a lot. All right, so for me, I'm an easy target on this. This is Superman, so it's uh, going to be added to my collection at the end of the day. I think some of you out there can relate to that, right? Some of the things I would have liked to have seen different. I would have loved to get some new hands, finally, hands that are better suited for the size of this Superman. And honestly, I don't even think we needed new hands. Yeah, like this fist is more appropriately sized. So I don't I don't know who makes the decisions as to when or what fist they use. Okay. Anyway, so use those fists instead. Use that diaper instead. Like the colors though. Colors are a big standout. I like the choice of this cape instead of using that cape over and over. So good call on that. Would have loved to have seen an S painted on the back finally, but... Uh, that day may or may not ever come. Who knows? 
Head sculpts would have maybe liked to have seen two head sculpts, but we don't. That's not even a thing for McFarlane, right? So I don't know why I always ask for that, but would have been nice to have just gotten some other expression other than the smile, which kind of looks a little goofy, but not terrible. Okay, so I, I'm not totally hating on that. Just a thought on, on that smile, right? Yeah, just let me know. Appreciate you for checking out the video. Appreciate you hanging out this long. If you have, listening to me rant and roll about this figure. Get it if you want it. A lot of you do. I did, so I got it. That's how this works. At the end of the day, I'm just here to collect action figures. And if it's Superman, I'm collecting it. So that's that. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy. Yeah.